Hey, well, hi, folks. <laughs> Welcome to Sty Shack 2. In progress. So I've been over here since, oh, 10 o'clock this morning. It's 2 o'clock. I've been here four hours messing around. I got some things done on the trailer, and I had a couple other things I had to do. Uh, been a good day, really good day. I got my two basket shelves in. Those are going to work out great. I love them. I love them. I'll show them to you here in just a little bit. I got my tailgate screen done. It's in. Well, it's 90% done. I got to do the base yet. There's um, I'm going to be tricking out the base because it's too t it's too long for the height of the trailer. So there's a flap. There's a bunch of it still on the floor. That I'm going to trick out so that it's it seals at the floor, but it's not laying all over. But I'll show you the progress on that too. Um, when I cleaned out this. Sty Shack too. It was this was full of stuff, right to the ceiling, to the tailgate. When I cleaned it out, I've been running into some goodies that I forgot I even had. One of those is this backpack chair. It's a beach chair that's designed as a backpack. It's got a nice big pack in the back. And it's made to sit on the beach and kick back. And I like using this if I'm going to go shoreline fishing. I didn't even think I still had it. <laughs> and there it was. It was packed away in this stuff. Along with a lot of other stuff. Another thing I came across, I got to get home and clean up. Is my camp coffee pot. <coughs> from the old Camp WTF. Needs to be scrubbed off. It's been storage for three years. But it's still in excellent shape. So that's going home with me today. I'm cleaning that up because that's coming back out here to the trailer. And <laughs> one of my oil lanterns. Now I had four of these. There's only one. I only found one. Still in good shape. Globe's not broke. I don't know what happened to the other three. But I got one. That's coming back here to the trailer after I clean it up. The um, I love oil lamp light in the evenings at night. Before I crash, I love to light an oil lamp and I'll read by oil lamp. It's the way it went when I was up at Camp WTF. Use the oil lamp all the time. Excuse me for taking a couple of drinks. This is, in four hours, this is my sixth bottle of water. And there's 17 fluid ounces each. And I still feel like I'm dehydrating. It's kind of warm today. There's a stiff breeze, but when you're inside the trailer, you don't feel it so much. So what else? Well, I wanted to get my kitchen counter set up. It's going to just be a piece of old scrap sheeting that we have left from building running water in my son's shed for now. Because it can be taken off and replaced with a decent countertop later. But I don't believe I'm getting to that today, my next trip out, which may be tomorrow. <laughs> but I bought these. These are awesome. You mount them to the wall. I'll go this way. Mount it to the wall. Your countertop's mounted to the top of this. It's just got one little button on the bottom, and it folds flat against the wall. So when I'm traveling down the road, the kitchen counter is hanging flat against the wall. And when I get there, you just lift the counter up and it locks right into place. 
Now these have a 350 pound capacity, so they're good heavy brackets, okay? This trailer's walls can't handle 350 pounds, so I know I'll never exceed the, <laughs> the load limit on these. So I was kind of excited. I wanted to get that done today, but I got the shelves up and the screen up, and I've got a live stream tonight, so I can't spend the full afternoon here. I got a, another hour or so, and I'm going to have to cut out of here. Here's what the real surprise for today was. This morning, I get a message from my oldest boy, Running Water, and he says, you better check because you just got a couple of packages. Well, I checked. That kid, that kid. We've been talking lately about the fact that I don't have any I don't have any gas stoves anymore like Coleman stoves camp stoves I used to have a bunch of them but um, I don't have any at all anymore all I've got are backpacking micro stoves I don't have any good full-size stovetop camp stovetops to cook on so we've been talking in our live streams lately about well, I could get one from a thrift store, I could get one here or there, and blah, blah, blah. I don't have to get one anymore. My boy, Donnie Running Water, sent me this. It's pretty awesome, that big case. What's really awesome is... two burner camp stove. Give you a peek inside. Quick. Oop. The bugger even smells new. I'll have to cook something on it to get that new smell out of it. Now, if that isn't sweet, huh? And what makes it even sweeter is this awesome case that this stove, the case is designed for this size stove. It's got room for cooking utensils and other things. <coughs> and on each end, it also has a tank pouch or the propane tanks. It takes those one pound green one pound cylinders. Well, that ain't a big deal. I can go to Walmart and get those. Don't have to. The boy sent me a four pack of propane cylinders. So I got plenty of propane cylinders. So today has been great. I found my old coffee pot that I just love out at camp. On oil lantern, I'm going to just love here in the sty shack too. Um, I'm not going to go down the whole list, but I found a few other things. I got my I got two shelves up today, and I got the screen up today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to do a walk around, and show you the shelves. The, um, I got a couple things up in this shelf, actually, rolls of tape, I'll take those down, um, but I'll show you what I've been doing, and then we'll say goodbye after that. So here, I'm going to turn the camera around, and we're going to take a peek. Okay. That's the first shelf. Now... I'm going to move the tripod out of the way. Now there is still some junk in here. Um, I've got that green container's got kitchen utensils in it, you know, cooking utensils. That's my life jacket for the kayak and a rain jacket. Just kick to the side. But there's that shelf. Sturdy as can be. Sturdy as can be. I'll never be able to overload that. Um, 
And that one's nice because it's going to be right over the kitchen area, which will be right here. The, um, the counter will be 36 inches high. Underneath it, I'll have all my large camp cooking related stuff. I'll have the box with the Wenzel cast iron set in it and my other cast iron pans will be here. I'll have a spot for my cooler to keep my cooler and a lot of extra space, okay? So yeah, that shelf went up pretty good. And I did one on the opposite side. Same thing. Yeah, these baskets are tough for you. Yeah, you bend the basket before you tear it off that wall. And the nice thing is, is right over here in this area is where the window will be going in. Or maybe right here, next to the basket here. Um, that will be going in probably within the next four or five days. <laughs> And what goes on this side of the trailer is this, I got this big old trunk here. That goes down on this end, and then the bunk is in here. And then the forward area is going to be all gear. And there's the side door exiting. I'm trying to find another screen like I got that'll fit this doorway. I haven't had much luck yet unless I buy a really big one like I got in the tailgate. So let's look at this screen in the tailgate. Now you'll see on the bottom how it's just laying there. I gotta trick that out. I got a couple ideas. I'm gonna fix that bottom so it it lands flush to the floor because this is about this screen kit was about um, four inches too long. Well, you can't really adjust it at the top, but you sure can at the bottom. I've had these before, and I've had to make adjustments, and it won't be a big deal. But as you can see, the whole back end of the adventure trailer, I'll get back here a ways, try to. The whole back end is screened. Keep them skeeters out of here, right? And the sweet thing is, is this is one of those doors where right in the center, it's got the seam and it's magnetic. You just pop it open, lock out, and it snaps itself back together. I'll, pull, I'll get out here where you can see it better. But there you go. Once I get that bottom squared away, it's going to be just perfect. So the whole tail end of the trailer is going to be screened. It's like a giant screen house. It's going to work out good, I'm sure of it. Sure of it. I, I, I like the magnetic doors because they're so easy. You come in and out, and when, you, when you're coming in and out, it automatically seals back up with those magnets in it. So... Very convenient, very convenient, and it lets a lot of air move through the trailer. Well, yeah. there you go. That's where I'm at with the Sky Shack 2 as of this afternoon. It's coming along. Every little thing seems to be a large improvement. I can't wait to get that kitchen counter in here. Um, that's going to be sweet to have that available. Um, get this trunk relay located over in the corner, but I gotta get what's left in here. All everything that's in here is pretty much so gonna be staying here. It's, it's all outdoor related gear, but I gotta get it all out of here. I want to get this thing swept out super good, get it all cleaned up after I do some woodwork in here, and. Um, yeah, in fact, my batteries for my 12 volt batteries, those are going up here in the front end along one of these diagonal walls. Um, once I get everything kind of where it needs to go, I've measured things out and it looks like the kayak's gonna fit right down the center without a problem. 
And like I had said before, once I get to a location, I can pull that kayak out right away and it's home sweet home away from home. It's home sweet sty shack away from home. So yes, it's it's coming it's coming together. It's coming together. Um, I'm thinking about this floor, what I want to do with it. Now I'm going to go find myself some a carpet remnant or some rugs or something. I just throw rugs down on the floor once it's all cleaned out and everything's in its place. I'll throw some rugs down. Um, don't want to run around in here barefoot and getting slivers from this floor, but um, but I think this is going to make a heck of a heck of an adventure trailer. Um, it's small enough that it's easy to pull, and I can get it into a lot of tight spots. It doesn't affect my fuel mileage in my truck. I've pulled this thing. I've only this trailer has only got 450 miles that's been put on. And but in that 450 miles, I never I I watched my fuel mileage on that trip. Didn't change. Didn't change. So pulling this isn't an issue at all. I don't even notice it behind the King Ranch. So. So it'll be easy, an easy pull. And now, because I got delayed on getting out to, I was going to do a week-long camp, camping trip, got delayed on that by one week. That gives me an extra week to have this a little more ready for that first outing with it. And um, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad. I'd rather be out in the woods, but if I want to have Sty Shack 2 on the road. I gotta take time to do that too. So that's what I'm doing, is making sure to take time, get this done, and get out there and then enjoy it from that point forward. So that's it. That's it. Thanks for checking in and seeing how the Sty Shack 2 is coming along. It is coming along. And hey, until the next one, actually the next video might be an additional update on the Sty Shack 2. Um, because I don't know if I'll get out in the woods in the next few days or not. Um, and if I don't, I'll be here working on this. So, so who knows what the next video will bring us. But I am certainly glad that you all tagged along today. Um, it's wonderful having you. Hey, if you haven't subscribed, punch me in the ugly mug up here. <laughs> I'll throw some videos up you can catch. And until the next time, guys. You make sure to have a very, very nice day. Bye-bye.